G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got. I made a huge bubble tray mold. It's massive. Let me get a tape measure out for you. Try not to knock any resin over. It's 32 centimeters wide on the inside, which is about I think 12 and a three quarter inches, something like that. 12 inches, 12 and a half. Anyway, it's big. <laughs> 12 point, I think it's 12.8 to be exact. Right. Now, I wanted to do a bubble bowl with rainbow colours. So my first instinct was to drop the ink in, um, like I've done before, you know, the reverse ink drop, and then pour the resin in. I'm just doing two drops. I'll talk to you as I go. That was purple octopus fluids. Um, I'm just going to do two drops. But I decided because... Actually, let's do three. I'll leave that lid off. Because last time or previous times when I've done the reverse ink drop, sometimes the ink kind of gets stuck on the silicone. And... And then, like, when the resin pours in, you get this kind of streaky look. And I didn't want that. I wanted a really clear, like, almost like glass look. So I've decided to do it this way. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to have purple in the middle. It's my take on rainbow. Purple, blue, green, yellow, and pink on the outside. So spilling so my purple has got the least amount of resin in there the blue a little bit more green more yellow more and almost full with the with the pink that's the hot pink so I will need more drops as I go along because there's more resin won't I one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's do ten of the pink we'll go I think that one had four Five, six, seven, eight, ten, eight, six, four, four. Something like that. All right. We'll just stir it up and we'll see what it looks like. I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus. I don't want the colours to be too dark. Um, but yeah, I kind of just want it to look like like blown glass but I do want a bit of color see that looks dark in there but then when you put it on that it's really not dark at all so bear with me I'm just gonna go actually just give a squirt 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 try not to get it on my mold squirt squirt okay oh gosh I'm nearly knocking things over Someone come and help me stir, please. My resin's going to get hot quickly. It's the 360 plus. I've made up two cups. It's a better colour. I've made up two cups of resin. Uh, 500 grams. I did 350 grams of A and 150 grams of B. Because, as you know, A is heavier than B. If you're doing by volume, you know, you do 300. Um, you, you can do it in mils, equal amounts. Well, two to one. <laughs> I'm confusing you now, aren't I? Uh, like you did 200 to 100 millilitres. But if you're doing it in um, weight, then uh, A weighs more. Gee, these are bright, aren't they? <laughs> oh, they should be pretty. These are, yeah, the octopus fluids inks. The link is down below in my description if you want these inks. I'm going to spray my mould with some alcohol first just to help break the surface tension on the silicone and hopefully we won't get too many bubbles stuck to it. I am stirring pretty fast though, aren't I? Oh gosh. I mean you could use a thinner resin but then it's going to take ages to get to the stage where I can actually mould it. With this one I can mould it probably in about four or five hours. I think those colours look pretty. I'm just going to move them away. Put the lids on and move them away. 
And then we'll get started. I'm excited. I'm a bit nervous. It's a lot of resin, eh? It's a lot of resin. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to start with purple, blue, green, then yellow, then pink. All right, so I'm going to spray with my 100% isopropyl in my little misting bottle here. Um, <clears throat> oh gosh, now, where do I start? See, they're all going to blend and mix and I don't really know. I'm just, I'm just going to go for it. I have no idea how to do this, you guys. Let's put a little bit of, a little bit of pink around the outside first. Oops, get out of there. Knock that out of the way. Okay, and then a little bit of yellow. And the yellow and the pink might go a bit sort of orange. That's okay. I'm just going to move them over here so that they can drip onto my puppy piddle pad. And then the green. You just gotta make sure that you keep your um, purple and your yellow away from each other because purple and yellow make a icky baby poo green color. Okay, it well, looks pretty so far. Okay, that looks pretty so far. Okay, yeah, here we go. Now, another row of pink. Oh, look, I haven't stirred it properly. Look, I thought I had stirred it properly. Oh dear, see this is the, what I didn't want to get. These little streaky things from the reverse alcohol drop. That's what I did not want to get. Maybe the resin's getting caught, the colour's getting caught because this these cups have got like a, a ridge on the side. Right, here we go. Another row of pink, get right up to the edge. I'm hoping I've made an, enough. If I haven't, I can make some more, but I'm hoping, hoping it's enough. Okay, that's that one. Let's stir it again. All right, here we go with the yellow. Now the colours are probably going to want to pull in from the outside in because that's what resin does. So you can see why now I didn't make up as much of the colours that are going in the middle as I did as the colours that are going on the edge because the, the edge obviously needs a lot more. Oh, <laughs> look at it, you guys. Wow. I'm running out of... I'm running out of room. And then I want to put some <clears throat> purple in the middle. I'm hoping that the purple won't just all vanish, you know, because the resin is going to pull from the outside in and then maybe the little purple centre will be quite small as the resin all pulls from the outside in. I'll make it a little bit bigger in there. That way, if it does kind of all pull in and shrink, then it should be okay. Can't really see much of the blue. The blue and the green are very similar, aren't they, really? But look, it doesn't matter if they blend a bit. I think I've got enough resin, you guys. I think I have. Woohoo! Now, I've got to try and... See, that's where the colors kind of grabbed hold onto the silicone so that's, that's why I didn't want to do the reverse drop because I thought yep the colors going to just stick like so oh it's so pretty I love it okay <clears throat> quick little torch dripped over the edge quick little torch uh, yeah that'll be all right <laughs> Now, I won't torch it too much just yet. I'll let it sit for five or ten minutes or so. 
Uh, oh, there's a bubble there. And then I will come back and, and check it again. But what I want to do before it gets too much longer is I want to just go around with my little silicone tool, my little, my little pointy one, just around the edge here. Because that's where the bubbles tend to group together. They have a little mother's meeting, sticking to the sides. So this mould is probably, looking at the sides there, it's probably half full. Yep, probably half full. I mean, I could have done a little bit more, but I thought two cups, like 500 grams, is quite a lot of resin anyway. Just getting the resin off my gloves with some alcohol. I spray alcohol on my gloves and then I can get that off. All right, so now that I've gone around with my little tool, I'll just go around with the, the torch again. I'm going to take these off because they're all they're all sticky. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you down because I want to show you something, and I've shown you before in other videos, but I want to see if I can show you again with my little torch. Make sure that I pick up the little tassely thing, turn that on. Now. Hopefully we can see, oh gosh, I don't know if I can show you this close. See that? There's a bubble. There's a bubble. I'll get him. Go around with my torch. Oh, it's a bit difficult because I can't focus on what I'm doing. Okay, I need another hand. <laughs> I need someone to focus my phone while I'm holding the phone and holding the torch. But anyway, if you shine your torch, your flashlight, um, you can see the bubbles much easier. So I'm going to just get some of the bubbles out. Oh my God, you guys, I love it. <gasps> look at that wow I've kind of lost the blue a little bit but never mind it's my first attempt I wasn't sure whether I should start in the middle or start on the edges but I started on the edges because <laughs> I wasn't sure how much I'd, I'd have anyway um I'm gonna just keep watching it over the next 10 minutes or so for bubbles um, I'll keep torching them or picking them out. You know, as the resin starts to get a little bit thicker, you can actually just pick them out with a toothpick. Um, I'm not going to spray with alcohol over the top because it can leave a film and the smooth bit's going to be on the outs uh, on the inside. It's going to be the inside of my bowl. Oh my god, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, I'll be back in about five hours when it's time to mold it. I better go and find a bowl. I think it's time. <laughs> it's only been not even three and a half hours. I poured it at one o'clock. It's quarter past four. Um, but it's pretty warm in the studio today. So um, I'm going to have a go. Have a go. I've got this big bowl here that I'm going to use. So now I'm going to make sure this is clean first. I'm going to try not to touch that because it's, you know, it's been my workbench so I'll try not to lay it down now I'm not sure if I'm going to just do a round top or whether I'm going to do what I did last time and do the little um, sort of scalloped edge oh, look at that <gasps> it just comes alive doesn't it when the, when you can see the bubbles all right here we go let's get it out let's get it out it's out yay <laughs> So, so exciting. Look at that. Oh, wow. Should I do that side on the inside? I mustn't have had my bench 
totally level. <laughs> I've got one side a little bit thicker than the other. Never mind. Now, bubbles on the inside, bubbles on the outside. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Let's, let's do it differently this time. Let's put them on the inside, shall we? Just to see. Just to see what happens. Let's see if I can get... Oh, gosh. I should do it this way, shouldn't I? Over like that. Ooh. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to ruin it. Ooh, I don't know. I do love that. That bobbly side. Wouldn't it make an amazing clock? I wonder if I can... It's still quite soft. See, the, the bubbles are deeper. So they've set up a little bit faster. I'm just going to have to... Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to ruin it. Oh gosh. Um, 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 I think something shallower. I think that's a bit deep. Let me see what else I can find. Hang on. What about an oval platter? What do you think of that? It'll be like a banana shape. I really love having the bubbles on the inside, so let's try that, shall we? I know it's not. Oh, there's a bump in the middle there. I guess it won't matter. Um, all right, let's see if I can get it in this way. It doesn't have to be. Oops, hang on. It doesn't have to be um, a round bowl, does it? Like traditionally, yes, bowls are just round, but now I'm just going to make sure this is even. Oh, I love that! I love that! Oh wow! Now I'm going to push that in. Okay. So it's wanting to do its little scallopy thing along the edge, just because of the the bubbles. Mm, this side's a bit higher than that side. I'm going to have to just move it ever so slightly. I do want it to be even. I think I did it. Oh. I think I moved it the wrong way. Oh gosh, I'm a bit of a duffer today, aren't I? A bit of a duffer. All right, there we go. That looks even there, but now I just have to push it in. Now I do have my shaping balls. I wonder if I should put a few in. Side's a little bit soft. I wonder if I should, or whether I just leave it like that. Oh gosh! Now this side has oh, needs to go that way. I can see that. Oh gosh! Gosh, gosh, gosh! Look, you can get a ruler, and that's from the center. That's seven and a quarter centimeters. Oh, and that's nearly nine. Okay, I'm gonna have to move it. Can't be that far out. If it was just half a centimetre, it would be okay, but it needs to move over. I should check these things before I push it in. All right, seven and a half. Eight and a half. Okay, we've still got to go over a little bit more. Try and get it as centred as you can, you know. You know, do something, do it to the best of your ability, as I always say. That's about eight and a half mm, eight okay it needs to go over just a tiny little bit that way so you've got to make sure that your resin is hard enough that you can keep picking it up and moving it it's no point doing this if it's really soft okay it's because then it's just going to show all your finger marks and things like that on it Okay, now <clears throat> the question is, do I put some bubbles, baubles in it? Nope. Nope. I think, I 
think it's got enough going on. Like, it's bubbly. It's rainbowy. It's this lovely scoopy shape. I, I don't think it needs anything else. I, I really don't. So I'm just going to make sure that it's flat up against the edges there. All the way around. Make sure it's in properly. Now, I know my purple centre is a bit off-centre, but... <laughs> Oh, wow. It's, I think it's not too bad for my first attempt. Look at that. You just don't get how gorgeous it is, like, through the camera. It is just shimmery and shiny, and it's. I think it's just gorgeous. It might be my new favourite thing that I've made. So, yeah, with this, I mean, you can put the bubbles on the inside, you can put the bubbles on the outside... The last one I did was just clear, so it looked like glass. And I just put the bubbles on the outside. But this one, oh, I don't even know what I would do with it. <laughs> I'll find something to do with it. It could be my new fruit bowl. Wouldn't it be an amazing fruit bowl? <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so that's, that's the shape it's going to be. I absolutely am in love with it. All right, now I will see you tomorrow for the unmolding. Not going to be much of an unmolding because we can already see what it's going to do. We're just going to pop it out and it will be good as gold. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm so in love with this. All righty, guys, it's the next day and I'm really excited to pop this out. So the first thing we need to do is just give it a bit of a squeeze. And there you go. Look at that. It pops out really easily. That's the good thing about having a plastic bowl or whatever it is you're using to mould. It's got a bit of give in it. Look at that. <laughs> it comes out really easily. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, I've got a really big geode mould that would fit in that nicely because it's already oval. All right. Let's check out this gorgeous tray. It's not really a bowl, is it? It's more of a tray. It would make an amazing fruit bowl. I'm going to go and get my apples and pop it in. <laughs> pop them in. Okay, so that's the back. That's the smooth side. Like that. And like I said, you could, you know, if you wanted to have the smooth side in the middle. But I did that last time, so I wanted to do something a little bit different. And have them on the inside. Oh, it feels so good. It's all bubbly and smooth and shiny. Wow, I love it. Absolutely love it.